Uh, it is an honor to be with you guys. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jeff and Coach uh, Corey asked if I could share for, uh, for a few moments. And I just want to say, and I think I can speak on behalf of former players, is that we admire, appreciate, and respect each one of you young men. We were in your shoes. We know the grind. Uh, we know the challenges. We know the noise, right? And most of it, maybe it was good. But there was times where it wasn't good. I can speak from experience. And we know this season, there's been a lot of it that, that hasn't been good. But if I share my heart with you, it would be the three Fs. Focus, fight, finish. We added another one on there, maybe two more, faith and family. I'm trying to think, what would I want someone to say to me if I was in your shoes, senior night? Can't believe 20 years ago, but we didn't have something like this where past players could come and share their heart and something that we wish someone would have said to us. So if I keep it real simple, it would be that. It would be faith, family, focus, fight, and finish this thing. We had our time. I think I can speak for all of us. We'd give anything to suit up tomorrow one more time against the Gators. Yes, Jim? Yes, sir. Rickster, BK, Sam. Think about it. We would give anything. This is your time. It's your time for one more chance. Reminds me of a movie, Braveheart. And some guys were doubting. They were doubting the mission, the battle, even thinking of just mailing it in, going home. And the leader, William Wallace, said, okay, you can, you can kind of fold. You can not fight. But then what feeling would you have, that regret of not giving everything you had? And what would you give to go back and have one more chance? You guys have that. You have one more chance. And it doesn't matter what anybody says, the social media, the noise, the haters, the people that don't know the grind, what you guys have been through, the things that have been seen, the things that have been unseen, the thing, things you've been doing that no one knows about in the film room, in the weight room, talking with each other in your dorm rooms, in the locker room, in the film room. It doesn't matter what they say. The reality of the matter, it doesn't even really matter what we say. It's a matter of what you guys say, and what you believe, and what you feel as teammates, as brothers, your coaches, because you're the ones who've really been through the grind this year. We've heard it, we've seen it, we've, we've felt it, because we know what the grind represents. We know what you've been through. I've known this man for almost 10 years. No, knew him when he was playing high school ball in Southern California. Covered his championship game, one of the greatest games I've ever seen in high school football. DJ, leading back from 20 plus points against Bryce Young in modern day to win a national championship. I know he's gonna fight, I know he wish he could play, but who's gonna step up for him? Who's gonna step up for the guys that can't play? That can't put it out there tomorrow night? That's what, that would be our encouragement, our challenge to you to block out all the noise. All that matters is what you guys feel, what you believe, and what you're gonna do. What are you gonna do with the opportunity? Because in about 26, 27 hours, it'll be gone. And it'll be there, man, I wish we could go out. I still got more. I wish I could leave a little bit more out there. Or I gave it everything I had. Everything I had for my brothers, for my family, really for yourself. And for the one that gave you this opportunity, your heavenly father, your creator, the one that gave you the gift and talent to play this great game. How will you give him glory tomorrow? One way is to leave it all out here. And we believe if you do that, if you do focus on your task, your assignment, your job tomorrow night, if you do fight, fight through that adversity, that's gonna happen. There might be a time when we're down, or you're hurting, or you just got rocked. And will you lay there, will you get back up? And will you finish? If you finish and leave it all out here, like these men have done, we believe you'll be holding that gator head tomorrow. We'll be hold we believe you'll be holding that above your head. Because it doesn't matter what anyone else says, believes, thinks, analyzes. It's about one game, 60 minutes, all out, 
balls out for your brothers. And if you do that, we believe you will emerge victorious. Amen? Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.